TGC Requiem back with match three of Green Black Elves. We get to be on the play this guy this game. Um no, that's not good enough. We're gonna mulligan here. I think with the Pendlehaven and the Cavern, we keep this and we just kind of hope we draw into something. Hopefully the Stampede is a good one to keep on top. Alright, so got some affinity action. And then hope we reload here. Oh, that is not the sort of reload we're looking for. These are not these are not the droids we're looking for. So on the plus side, it's Blink Moth and not Ink Moth. In fact, it's a lot harder for us to fight. So we can do one of a couple things. We either can pump to get four damage in here, putting him down to 15, or we can hold one up, hoping to hold back a Memnite. Um, but honestly, I don't know that we're all too disappointed to trade. I think right now we're kind of in a race, and so we are going to just get the extra damage in. Just gonna start chumping with thopters for days. Well, so far it looks like he's kind of drawn into not a whole lot of anything either. I think we really kind of go for power on board here. Let 
Move two back to carrot and play with the druid. Oh, and then I accidentally clicked through. Fantastic. This is where having those extra three elves on board would have been useful. Oh yeah, we could have been tacking for three more, four more right now. It's frustrating. So we're really just like a shaman of the pack away from being in a really strong position. Strong meaning winning, most likely. Doesn't really have the mana to to go for cranial plating. Arcbound could be a thing. It's gonna sack a bunch of stuff to Vault Scourge. No, most likely not. So, I mean, right now, Cord, Lead the Stampede, Collect a Company, these are all Shaman of the Pack, all these things are pretty solid. So he's at 9, he can block 5. Can't imagine a block with more than three. Blocking with the Memnite or Arcbound Ravager. 
just seems one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, right now he's looking to take 10 damage, so. Maybe he won't think through the fact that he needs to block my two twos. Maybe he's not aware that the Pendlehaven can't pump a two two. Five, six. He'll sack the Arcbound Ravager. He'll sack the Memnite to the Arcbound Ravager. He's going to put that on the Fault Scourge. That's what? Four, five, six. Plus. Probably seven, eight, nine. Mm. I think we're just going to protect one of our heritage druids here. We don't have lethal, and this gives us the better. I think better odds. the next turn. There's really no point for to go for the lethal when you don't have it. Okay, so we actually the second to the arcbound. Keep the arcbound alive, which makes more sense. So I would think you'd just go for the Ink Moth kill there, but I guess not. So he's going to go to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I think that's lethal, right? All right. So I don't know that it made a difference, but definitely having four power short on board there and losing with my opponent at four life seems like it might have had something to do with something. Uh, all right, so Fracturing Gust can come in here. Damping Matrix comes in. Beast Within. And Golgari Charm. I don't know that I really want Golgari Charm here though, so Gal Golgari Charm is going to probably do as much damage to me as it is to him. So I think we're good with that. Don't think we really need Cord here. Reclamation Sage is good. Visionary. Actually, sorry. This is the one where we need less Dwight as Elite. And we can pull Azuri, not really relevant to how we're going about the win for the win. I think that's how we want to approach this game. At least with the current build. This is not my optimal build, by the way. This looks good. We'll give this one a keep.
Beautiful. And then ideally we can fracturing gust in his combat step next turn. And that should pretty much be the game. Yep. This is what we call a blowout. Alright, so we'll be on the draw for the third game. I don't think there's anything really different we want to do here. So turn to damping matrix, if we can get that down, that is very good. <clears throat> Just grinds their deck to a halt. So we're just hoping, hoping that he doesn't kill us off this turn. And he didn't, so, I mean, it's certainly very early, but we feel like we're in a strong position now. So he is going to gain two life, which is <clears throat> going to take a little while to get around. We don't have any life gain of our own. Ooh, that double signal passed. Maybe we're in trouble. Double signal pest is an issue. We really need to get uh, 
fracturing gust on mine. So we got the ground troops locked up, but we're still taking one, two, three, four, five in the air. Which is a pretty fast clock if we don't draw into something powerful. I mean, we can get some Archdruid attacks with Shaman in two turns. So Whip Flare is the concern, and he got there first. and bombs, matrix and whip flare. So one of the things that I've been learning is decks that play pyroclasm, or in this case whip flare, are just too powerful. We have to have the ability to live through that or we lose. So we're at... This really stinks. Um, yeah, that's game. Right? Because if we block anything else, we take lethal. We're already... Yeah. Good game, sir. Good game. Well, that is a loss. We'll be back with match four shortly.